So let's go to one of our newsmakers. We are joined at the moment by the former Deputy Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh, T.S. Singh Dev joins us. Uh, Mr. Singh Dev, appreciate you joining us uh, at a time when I know the Congress hasn't done well in Chhattisgarh. You lost by what, just less than 100 votes. Explain what you believe is the reason for the loss in Chhattisgarh. Uh, unexpected. <clears throat> For uh, the media or otherwise, we were uh, uh, putting out in for the morale of, morale of our uh, workers, uh, 75 plus, and you, you always keep a high goal to reach, uh, whether you actually are able to get there or not. Nobody would be fighting for 46 seats if the halfway mark is 45. That apart, we were well aware that uh, uh, it is... Uh, going to be something between uh, 50 and 60, 52 and 62. It is very likely to be something around there. Uh, unfortunately, we have not been able to meet that mark. A lot of assessments when, were made. And I what think, went uh, wrong, Mr. Singh Dev? What, if you were so ever. confident, you were talking about 75 plus, you are telling me your internal uh, uh, survey said 52 to 62, you end with just uh, 30 odd seats. Something obviously went terribly wrong. You end up with 35. What went so drastically wrong? We have to uh, look into it. We have to uh, take the reports from uh, all the regions. Uh, not very difficult to see where we are to look for uh, those uh, details. Because we have lost out... Show them the on the election intelligence dashboard yes, and we can do a post-mortem right now, Mrs. Leo. So here are two things I want to show. So first... I want to show what happened in Sarguja. Remember, T.S. Singh Dio comes from Sarguja, and one of the reasons that the Congress did really well in the last elections is also because the Congress was able to send the message that if the Congress party does well, then T.S. Singh Dio might be a potential chief minister. So if I look now at the Lok Sabha of uh, Sarguja, which has eight assembly segments, the Congress has been wiped out in Sarguja. The BJP has all eight, remember? In the tribal-dominated belts in Bastar and around Sarguja, the Congress had done really well last time. If I show you how the tribal-dominated seats of Chhattisgarh have fared this time around, remember, these aren't just tribal reserves. These are tribal-dominated, where the percentage of tribals on that seat is more than 20%. On 47 such seats, the BJP is up a whopping 28 from the last time. They had only three tribal-dominated seats in the last election. From that, they're at 28 this time. The Congress is at 18, a whopping 24 down from the last elections. So two things. One, sir, personally, you couldn't hold on to your own. You should have delivered Sarguja to your party. You couldn't. And B, it seems like the tribal vote along with the Sau vote went back, went away from the Congress to the BJ. Why, why did you all read the script so wrong? I don't think we read it uh, quite as wrong as is being made out. Uh, we were hopeful. Uh, we were hopeful. What happened in the last couple of days, I really cannot uh, pinpoint at the moment. Uh, but like you're saying, uh, Congress has been able to maintain its vote share uh, overall. You've been showing it in your channels. We've been following you. And you are indicating that there's just a 0.4% drop in the Congress vote share overall. It is the BJP which has managed to gain about a 14% so, vote logic share. I, I don't buy it. Let me first uh, show, let me show who who have, what those... you're saying. And I don't buy that logic, and I'll explain why. So what Mr. Sorry, Mr. Singh Dio is pointing out, in the vote one. share timeline, uh, the Congress's vote share, which in 2018 was about 43%, has roughly come down to 42%. It's about less than a percentage drop. But, 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 it's not how you play. It's also about how your opponents are playing. The BJP is up from 33 to 46, yes. which if you go back five elections, is the maximum the BJP has got in any election since the formation of the state in 2000. So it's a 13% increase. So, sir, it's not good enough to say we held on to our vote share. Your opponents hit it out of the park in Raipur. I'm repeating what you have been saying yourself, Rahul. I've been listening to what you have been saying in your assessments. And I have just repeated exactly what you have been saying yourself. So, anyway, if you want me to say something different, I'll try to put the same picture differently. Out of the 12 seats in Bastar, we had projected to be... Uh, able to be winning four to nine seats. Unfortunately, we have dropped to the bottom level. We've won four. In Sarguja, we were sure of winning two. And we were there in uh, in our assessment in all the 14. But as it has turned out, it has not proven to be so. Uh, Sir, can I ask a question about possible overconfidence? 
on the part of Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel, if you looked at even the BJP's internal Rahul. surveys during the campaign, the Congress was in the lead, the BJP was trailing. So this is one of those campaigns where the BJP has literally managed to find a way of snatching victory from the jaws of imminent defeat. How did the Congress lose the plot midway yes, in your true. view? They worked harder than us, that is for sure. We must give them credit for that. Mr. Amit Shah was uh, here. Uh, he seems to be a brilliant uh, sort of a strategist. And uh, where uh, credit is due, uh, I would not uh, hesitate to give them that credit. So no, they've I... done uh, well. they work well on the ground. And they've managed to uh, get this uh, scenario. They've been able to get uh, 54 seats. You're, you know, but you're, uh, you're not telling the full story, sir. Uh, a number of people that I've spoken to in the last day in Chhattisgarh are saying tribal concerns were ignored. You were also denied chief ministership under a so-called rotational promise made by your Congress leadership. This angered your supporters. Tribal concerns in Bastar, whether it's Tenduli pickers, whether it's the police firing case, whether it is religious conversion on all these issues, the Bagel government was seen to ignore your interests, plus serious corruption charges eventually against the chief minister. Let's be honest. At least... Some of these factors played a role, yes or no? Uh, would you like me to answer one by one or in general? You can tell me where, whichever way. You are, I just want you to be honest sure. this time. So, as, as far as the tribal uh, concern is there, you have voiced the issues of uh, two regions. One is uh, Sarguja, one is Bastar. The Sarguja region uh, did have uh, this murmuring that there was a possibility of uh, me being made the chief minister. There is a little doubt about that. And it somehow didn't materialize. That's an internal party matter. And I'm perfectly uh, okay with that. There may be a sense of disappointment amongst the people. I will not deny that. That is as far as uh, Sarbuja is concerned. As far as uh, the Bastar region is concerned, and in general where the tribal community is concerned, they had been, uh, and all of us had been uh, pushing for formation of the uh, PESA rules. The act has been there for uh, decades, but the Chhattisgarh government, uh, succeeding governments had not been able to frame the rules. So there was discontent about that. This Jal Jangal Jameen issue we have been hearing for a long time. We have the uh, Naxal issue, uh, in, particularly in the southern region, that is the Bastar region. And they have been egging a section of the tribal community to uh, sort of bring up these issues. So between that, we had a large number of, uh, fairly large number of uh, consultations with the representatives of the tribal community, inter-party, cross-party, neutral, Sarvadivasi Samaj. I'll elaborate on that too. And uh, we came to uh, agreements on most of the issues. There was just one major issue. Otherwise, if you see the rules as they have come out, the PESA rules, I think they're pretty good. So there was one contentious issue regarding land, uh, whether the Gram Sabha should have the right of giving consent, or would there be consultation? This is the touchiest issue which we were not able to deal in uh, consonance with what some people felt, that the right to consent should be given to the Gram Sabhas. So that apart, I think the PESA rules uh, were framed uh, pretty well. Even some sections of the IPC, the powers were given to the Gram Sabhas, 26 or 28, I'm forgetting which number. So they were given uh, their own... Uh, uh, bank account was given, they would have their own account was given, rotational uh, heading of the Gram Sabha by those who have not participated in the Panchayati Raj election, rotational one okay. lady, Mr. one uh, Mr. Deo, uh, male, I'm going to ask you one quick uh, question, sir. Every, very every year, often, those were given. Mr. Deo, very often parallels yes. between you and Sachin Pilot have been drawn and you on my show once told me Sachin is in his 40s, I'm in my early 70s. Tomorrow, in all probability, Sachin Pilot will be given charge of Rajasthan. Where do you see yourself from here, sir? You are in your early 70s. What now for T.S. Singh Anything, anything that is given to me by the, anything given to me by the party which I can do, I will uh, gladly accept. You're not hanging up your boots, sir? You're on ground? You, you're looking for a role? Uh, not after losing. Uh, had I won, then uh, I had said that this would be my last innings. Yes. But I am not a person who will be leaving the field after losing the match. So I am going to be very much okay. there. I will be trying to cover up the mistakes I have made. Uh, because the buck lies there. It starts and ends at my doorstep. If I have not been able to win the Vidhan Sabha, I am to be questioned. If I have not been able to deliver Sarguja, I am to be questioned. 
So if Lok Sabha so is that what we're looking at? If I party in uh, getting a majority in Chhattisgarh, then I am to be questioned. Okay, and no question of you switching over to the yes. BJP as has been the as has been a buzz at some time. No question of switching sides. Never in a hundred lives. I have only one, and I believe I have only one. So that is out of the question. And I have always said it. Somehow it comes around again and again and again, and I have to repeat it myself. So I don't mind repeating it. I have also said that even if I am not active in politics, my vote will always go to the Congress party. Okay, okay. we we'll leave it over there. Thank you very much.